present the In Living Color Super Halftime Party, live from Hollywood. Brought to you by Bite Size Doritos brand tortilla chips. Hey, 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 what's up, what's up, what's up? We hope you enjoy the first half of the game. Welcome to the In Living Color Halftime Countdown Party. We're coming to you live from Fox Studios in Hollywood. Hey, I know what you guys are thinking. You were thinking, hey, are these bozos going to make us miss any part of the second half? That's where this comes in, our Super Bowl countdown clock. It'll be coming on later in the show to let you know when to switch back to the second half. You won't miss any of the senseless brutality. <laughs> but check this out. The Bad Boys of Comedy got a lot of action for you right here. Fire Marshal Bill, men on, and Color Me Bad performing here live. <laughs> Two thousand sensors ready to pull the plug at any moment. So if you're ready, hey, we're ready. So let's hang out with the homeboys right now. What's up? Get out of here! That's right. For all you Super Bowl fans, I wins this the Ice Man. Chilling. Yo, welcome to our Super Bowl halftime set. We got some super slick smashing with a brick. If you don't like it, you can. Sorry, sensors, that's merely a display item. That's right, come see it live, y'all in the house. Yo, check it out. For all you little cash potatoes out there sitting there saying, yo, homeboy, how can I get closer to the action? Bip. Bip. Best seats in the house. Yo, not only will we get you on the field, but we can actually get you in the game. That's right. <laughs> Oh, they broke my ribs. I want my money back. <laughs> <laughs> another satisfied customer. Yo, show them the another stuff. Show them the another stuff. For all you collectors out there, we've been doing a collecting of our own. Check it out. NFL player cards. Got all your favorites right here. MasterCard, Visa, Thurman Thomas Gold Card. Yo, didn't Thurman Thomas just sign like one of those multi-million dollar get a hole and a couple of yachts and be lovely for life type deals? I think so. You thinking what I'm thinking? I think so. Side customers, that one was just a display item. But don't fret none, because we got some nova stuff. We like to call it Jewelry, jewelry, jewelry. Check it out. Super Bowl rings and things. Now, I know some of y'all sitting out there saying, oh, boys, these rings are a little big for me. That's why with every purchase, we're going to give you absolutely free this jar of NFL vitamins. That's right. Within six months, you'll be wearing these bad boys like pinky rings. <laughs> Yo, what else we got, homie? Come on, Stuff. For all the little kitties out there, if you act now, for limited time only, these autographed NFL footballs, autographed by Mark Rippium himself. Well, how you do that, homeboy? Let's just say I did a little quarterback sneak of my own. <laughs> Sign this. Oh, put that one to Laquita. That's L.A. Quita. You figure it out. <laughs> Yo, just a tip, y'all. In the second half, bet heavy on the skids. That's right. Now, hope boy, what? I said, hope boy, what? Don't make me say hope boy again. <laughs> Suppose I want to watch Super Bowl action next year. Uh-huh. At my... home? At home. Psst. Stay no more. <laughs> Boom, let go to the wine screen. Oh, Yo, you hook this bad boy up in your living room, pop out some old E, throw in a couple of porno tapes, you be the toast of the neighborhood. That's right. Yo, Pee Wee Herman might even come by your path. <laughs> now you set them chairs out there and you have your own version of pay-per-view and you know what that means. Mo money, mo money, mo money. <laughs> yeah, right. And last but not least, for the guy who buys the most merchandise, you'll be our MVP. Most valuable perpetrator. That means you get to drive this baby home. Yo, check out the classic line. Yeah. Check out the headlights. Uh-huh. Check out the trunk space. Yeah. And the car comes with it, too. Security alert, level five. Security alert, level five. Uh-oh, I think that's our two-minute warning. Yo, homeboy, now that we discounted all these lovely merchandise, what we gonna do next? Yo, we gonna go break into Disneyland. <laughs> Peace, y'all. Stay tuned for Fire Marshal Bill. Super Bowl 
Bowl Sunday. Fire Marshal Bill has got some very important tips for everyone. So please pay attention because what you hear could just save your life. What <laughs> Halftime here at the Super Bowl, and oh, what a super bat, huh, Bob? Another picture of flaming kamikaze, Steve-O? You got it. <laughs> <laughs> Put on alcohol. A deadly combination! <laughs> well, hey, folks, I'm Fire Marshal Bill, here to make sure your Super Bowl Sunday is a... <laughs> Safe one. Uh -oh. I see someone serving up some danger. Hey! Just what gives her Bloody Mary? My name is Mindy and I'm busy. Serving drinks to these yahoos during halftime can be lucrative. But it can also put you out for the season. Or some practical jokers, which is your cocktail train, with this here regulation dart board. Everyone's a little tipsy. You go to collect on the tab. Hey, guys! How about throwing me a few tips? <laughs> well, I mean, someone got a bullseye. <laughs> Hold it just a firecracking minute. Is that a karaoke machine you got there? Yeah. Well, it's awful close to your big screen TV. Let me tell you something! <laughs> Let's just say you're singing an inspirational football song. Rock them, suck them, kick them till you lick them. Go! <laughs> One of your buddies gets football fever and decides to Gatorade you like so. times as I have. Who needs a zapper? <laughs> Excuse me, fellas. Oh. <laughs> what the hell's that supposed to teach us? Some things you just have to learn for yourself. <laughs> okay, sports fans, one more demonstration and my job here is done. Let's just say you guys decide to have a little Super Bowl of your own. What you don't know is, this place was built on an ancient terrace burial ground. Your quarterback is possessed by the demon spirit of a munitions expert from the Irish Republican Army. Oh, Jenny boy. Coach calls for a long bomb. He takes him literally, throwing this explosive device into the end zone. You scored the TD. You're having an epiphany. You gotta celebrate. Everybody run! <laughs> Bloody Sunday. Not listening still. Perhaps they never will. Hey! They're trying to land the blimp! You know, these mooring lines can be extremely flammable. Let me tell you something! Next up, the Million Dollar Giveaway and Man on Football. Thank you very much. Thank you, thank you very much to Sugar Ray Lennon here at the halftime party. We pulled a couple of celebrities out of the crowd just so you could tell us just how this party was going. All right, here we got Phil from Drexel's class. Do you like this? Is this good for you? Oh, I'm having a time of my life, man. This is, this is absolutely the best, best thing that I've ever done in my life. Are you, enjoying the, are you enjoying the guacamole? Are you enjoying the nachos? Are you enjoying the beer? Are you having a good time? Uh... All that and a bag of chips, man. It's the best. <laughs> I heard that. Now we got, we got Blair Underwood here. 
Blip. I enjoy the festivities. It's a little different for you being here for the Super Bowl. <laughs> I enjoy the nachos. I enjoy the guacamole. Oh, I'm feeling good. The guacamole is good. The Redskins are winning. I'm feeling good. I hear that. Now we're going to go on over here. Now this is, if you watch Totally Polly, this is Polly. Polly's a friend of mine. Polly, are you enjoying this? There's enough nugs in the house for you. Excuse me, sir? Is there enough, <laughs> is there enough nugs in the house for you, Polly? Uh, yes, sir. There's plenty of fly girls here and they're very moist. Yeah. Whoa. Now, did you bring Corky with you? Is Corky here? Yeah, Corky's here, too. From Parker Lou. Hey, there he is. Yeah, Can okay. you step on up here for a minute? Hey, hey. Give him a round of applause. I enjoy the festive, as you can see, we got girls here, we got guys here, everybody's having a good time, people having beer, people having guacamole and nachos. Are you enjoying the festivities so far? Um, I'm having a great time, you? I'm having a very, 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 very good time. <laughs> now we're going to go to Minon, everybody. Minon. Yeah. Cable Access Channel 96 presents Men on Football. And, and welcome, welcome to, to Men on football. football. The show that looks at football from a male point of view. That's right, tonight we're live and uncensored. That's right, naked to the world. <laughs> <laughs> Do you know we have a new sponsor? Wilson Sporting Goods, the official boss of the NFL. <laughs> I ain't said a word. You know, a lot of people were very surprised to hear that we was doing a special football show. But we've been fans of football for many years. I mean, what other game boasts such great names like Dick Butkus? Or my favorite, Bob Greasy. <laughs> now, isn't he a tight end? He was. <laughs> things about this game that could be better, mm -hmm. like the uniforms. Hated hey, them, for instance. You know, I was so disappointed when I found out that those numbers on the back, they were just for identification. Oh, I know what you mean. Mm -hmm. The smallest one I saw was 11, mm -hmm. and then I saw one that said 78 child, I almost fainted. <laughs> you need to stop. <laughs> and you know, I found that those padded shoulders were just too Joan Crawford. Mm -hmm. And think, and speaking of Old oh, fish. Mm -hmm. What about those cheerleaders? Hey, hey to them. them. I mean, what good are they? Everybody knows that these men just look at each other's for their strength mm -hmm. and inspiration to do their best. Not some scallop on the sidelines. Foof. <laughs> I don't understand why they bring them in. Mm -hmm. And what about this matchup today? The Buffalo Bills against the Washington Redskins. Oh, yes. It's like playing Cowboys and Indians. Ooh! Well, tie me up and scout me, but I'd be a lot more entertained if they were playing with the Oilers and Packers. <laughs> That's a thought. <laughs> now, what's your favorite play of the game, Twan? Well, to be truthful, mm -hmm. for me, Nothing beats that exquisite moment of tension right before the play begins as the muscular, sweaty football men get down on that line of scrimmage. <laughs> there they is, eyeball to eyeball. Their breaths is coming out like steam from a big bull's nostrils. I just got three words to describe it. Delicious. I'm through. <laughs> Oh, I think I just sprung a leak. <laughs> and speaking of football, let's bring back that Joe Namath. Mm -hmm. I mean, I'd never forget the time when he put on those pantyhose on national television. It must have taken so much courage for him to come out and say, this is me, this is who I am. Call me Broadway Joe, because that's how I do it. The Broadway. <laughs> time out. Now, you got to reverse that call. Joe Namath is married. Hello? Now, I'm very confused about this part of the game. Now, Blaine, we all know what a red flag in the right pocket means, mm -hmm. but what does a yellow flag in the left pocket mean? Oh, I think those are the wide receivers. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> but there's so much about this game that's so confusing. Mm -hmm. For instance, why do they stop a play when there's too many men on the field? To me, that's party time. Because, <laughs> Blaine, too many men, that's an illegal formation. Well, if love is wrong, then I don't want to be right. <laughs> And you don't know the first thing about football. And you don't know the first thing about lotion. So, 
anyways. Oh, you about to seriously work my last good nerve, ain't you? Don't get mad, Twan. Is that all you? <laughs> you can show me how to play Teach Me. Go ahead. Okay. You have a ball? I think I have one right here. <laughs> this one before. <laughs> All you have to do is say hi and take the little blue ball and start running. <laughs> but isn't that gonna hurt you? <laughs> Get the ball, silly. Go ahead. Say hi. Chase me, I don't like this game. <laughs> well, that's our show for this week, but before we go, we'd like to salute all the men's playing the Super Bowl with our special Super Bowl snap. Two, Two snaps, snaps and, and your, your backfield back <laughs> Goodbye! Stay tuned for Color Me Back. Okay, thank you, Roger. Uh, Halftime is almost over, and we're going to try to get some last-minute instructions from the coach. We're going to try to get a word from him right now. Uh, here he comes now. Uh, coach, can we get a word from you real quick? Yeah, sure, can. Now, what did you tell your players before they left the locker for the second half? Well, uh, what I told them was just, just relax and concentrate and play some ball. I mean, you know, you leave the candy and the girls alone because that makes your legs fish. You know, what I'm trying to get them to do is... Don't let them dictate the game, and I believe if we play as hard as we can, then we can play up to our potential, OJ. Well, look, how do you feel about the uh, the team's first half performance? Well, you know, I, anytime you have a big game, I mean, you're going to have some jitters. I mean, if we could start sticking to people, putting the hats on the people, you know, give them 110% every single time, then I believe the Super Bowl is out. <laughs> okay, well, look here. What do you think? What do you think you guys are going to do around about the second half? I mean, you guys got a lot of opportunities to get from. Buffalo got its running game going really, really good. Well. What are you going to do about that? They're really penetrating the game. What are you guys going to do about that? Well, what we're going to do is play some control type offense. I mean, we got to keep the ball from them in the second half. I mean, you know, we got to you know, open that up. I mean, because if we don't do that, I know it's hard for you to hear me. We'll get a few breaks and we'll be fine. You know, but as you know, this game is a game of ups and downs. So we're going to go out there and get the momentum going for us, you know? Well, look, uh, Buffalo got their uh, running game going early. They're penetrating the line. What are you going to do about that? Are you going to put some linebackers in there? Are you going to start to step up so What's going to happen in the second half? On that well, what we're going to try to do is get off passing game there. I mean, as you know, the war is not over. The battle has to keep being fought. I mean, you can't allow them to play. I mean, they're playing worse than my grandmother would play. So they just got to go out there with their heads. Well, I think that's the uh, signal for the second half. I got one more question to ask. Uh, are you going to go with your air attack? I mean, we haven't seen you do a lot of that. Well, we're going to shoot them and we're going to try to get, you know, get the passing game wide open for Well, thank you, Coach. We're going to have to go ahead and wrap this up. Roger, back to you. We're going to be looking forward to a great second half of football. <laughs> I'd like to thank everybody who was involved in our first live show. My cast, of course, all, all the writers, a great tech crew, all our special guests. We had a great time. I want to thank all you folks for tuning in. Remember, we're here every Sunday, 8 o'clock, right here on Fox. So come on back and check us out. We got a very. Huh? I just want to say. What do you want to say? I just Dan? want to say that thank you could, and the people in the thing. Like, hey, hey. I think, I think they... Buffalo! Oh, oh. <laughs> Yo! Birthday. Oh, happy, birthday. Happy birthday, Karen and Billy and Ed and Louise oh, and Carla. Right. 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 Hey, hi, Patrick in Wisconsin! <laughs> uh, who's Patrick in Wisconsin? I have no friends. You're dead, Patrick. You're a dead man. Stay away from my sister. All right, look, before, before we go... We got a very special guest joining us this week. They're going number one on the pop charts this week. Another song, the third one. It's a very talented group with us here for you. Color Me Bad, taking us home. Thank y'all. Peace.
Thanks for joining us for the In Living Color Super Halftime Party. In just a few moments, we'll be returning you to our regular programming already in progress. That means more In Living Color, followed by a hilarious Married with Children, except on the West Coast. Check local listings. Security alert, level five. Security alert, level five. Uh-oh, I think that's our two-minute warning. Yo, homeboy, now that we discounted all these lovely merchandise, what we gonna do next? Yo, we gonna go break into Disneyland. Peace, y'all. <laughs> Stay tuned for Fire Marshal Bill. Sunday. Fire Marshal Bill has got some very important tips for everyone. So please pay attention because what you hear could just save your life. What I'm gonna show you nothing! Well, it's halftime here at the Super Bowl, and what a super bat, huh, Bob? Another picture of flaming kamikaze, Steve-O? You got it. Alcohol. A deadly combination! Well, <laughs> folks, I'm Fire Marshal Bill, here to make sure your Super Bowl Sunday is a <laughs> safe one. Uh -oh. I see someone serving up some danger. Hey! Just what gives her Bloody Mary? My name is Mindy and I'm busy. Serving drinks to these yahoos during halftime can be lucrative. But it can also put you out for the season. Or some practical jokers, which is your cocktail train, with this here regulation dartboard. Everyone's a little tipsy. You go to collect on the tab. Hey, guys! How about throwing me a few tips? Well, you know, someone got a bullseye. All right, Visa, Thurman Thomas Gold Cup. Yo, didn't Thurman Thomas just sign like one of those multi-million dollar get a hole in a couple of yachts and be lovely for life type deals? I think so. You thinking what I'm thinking? I think so. Side customers, that one was just a display item. But don't fret none, cause we got some other stuff. We like to call it jewelry, jewelry, jewelry. Check it out. Super Bowl rings and things. Now I know some of y'all sitting out there saying, oh boys, these rings are a little big for me. That's why with every purchase, we're going to give you absolutely free this jar of NFL vitamins. That's right. Within six months, you'll be wearing these bad boys like pinky rings. <laughs> Yo, what else we got, homie? Got a little other stuff. Got a little super <laughs> For all the little kitties out there, if you act now, for limited time only, 
these autographed NFL footballs, autographed by Mark Rippium himself. Well, how you do that, homeboy? Let's just say I did a little quarterback sneak of my own. <laughs> Sign this. Oh, put that one to Laquita. That's L.A. Quita. You figure. <laughs> Yo, just a tip, y'all. In the second half, bet heavy on the skids. Shank. Now, hope boy. What? I said, hope boy. What? Don't make me say hope boy again. <laughs> Suppose I want to watch Super Bowl action next year. Uh huh. In my... At home? At home. Psst. Stay no more. <laughs> Boom. Let go to the wise cream. Oh, Yo, you hook this bad boy up in your living room. Pop out some old E, throw in a couple of porno tapes, you be the toast of the neighborhood. Right. Yo, Pee Wee Herman might even come by your path. <laughs> now you set them chairs out there and you have your own version of pay-per-view and you know what that means. Mo money, mo money, mo money. <laughs> yeah, right. And last but not least, for the guy who buys the most merchandise, you'll be our MVP. Most valuable perpetrator. That means you get to drive this baby home. Yo, check out the classic line. Yeah. Check out the headlights. Uh-huh. Check out the trunk space. We interrupt regular programming to present the In Living Color Super Halftime Party, live from Hollywood. Brought to you by Bite Size Doritos brand tortilla chips. Hey, 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 what's up, what's up, what's up? We hope you enjoy the first half of the game. Welcome to the In Living Color Halftime Countdown Party. We're coming to you live from Fox Studios in Hollywood. Hey, I know what you guys are thinking. You are thinking, hey, are these bozos going to make us miss any part of the second half? That's where this comes in, our Super Bowl countdown clock. It'll be coming on later in the show to let you know when to switch back to the second half. You won't miss any of the senseless brutality. <laughs> but check this out. The Bad Boys of Comedy got a lot of action for you right here. Fire Marshal Bill, men on and color me bad performing here live. <laughs> Two thousand sensors ready to pull the plug at any moment. So if you're ready, hey, we're ready. So let's hang out with the homeboys right now. What's up? Get out of here! That's right. For all you Super Bowl fans, I wins this the Ice Man. Chilling. Yo, welcome to our Super Bowl halftime set. We got some super slick, smash it with a brick. If you don't like it, you can. Sorry, sensors, that's merely a display item. That's right, come see it live, y'all in the house. Yo, check it out. For all you little couch potatoes out there sitting there saying, yo, homeboy, how can I get closer to the action? Bip. Bip. Best seats in the house. Yo, not only will we get you on the field, but we can actually get you in the game. That's right. <laughs> Oh, they broke my ribs. I want my money back. <laughs> <laughs> another satisfied customer. Yo, show them the another stuff. Show them the another stuff. For all you collectors out there, we've been doing a collecting of our own. Check it out. NFL player cards. Got all your favorites right here. Massacre. Not listening still. Perhaps they... Never win. Hey! They're trying to land the flip! You know, these mooring lines can be extremely flammable. Let me tell you something! The Million Dollar Giveaway and Man on Football. Thank you very much. Thank you, thank you very much. It's Sugar Ray Lennon here at the halftime party. We pulled a couple of celebrities out of the crowd just so you could tell us just how this party was going. All right, here we got Phil from Drexel's class. Do you like this? Is this good for you? Oh, I'm having a time of my life, man. This is, this is absolutely the best, best thing that I've ever done in my life. Are you enjoying the Are you enjoying the guacamole? Are you enjoying the nachos? Are you enjoying the beer? Are you having a good uh... All that in a bag of chips, man. It's the best. <laughs> I heard that. Now we got we got Blair Underwood here. Sugar Ray, Sugar Ray. Are you enjoying the festivities? It's a little different for you being here for the Super Bowl. Are you enjoying the nachos? 
I enjoy the guacamole. Oh, I'm feeling good. The guacamole is good. The Redskins are winning. I'm feeling good. I hear that. Now we're going to go on over here. Now this is, if you watch Totally Polly, this is Polly. Polly's a friend of mine. Polly, are you enjoying this? There's enough nugs in the house for you. Excuse me, sir? Is there enough, <laughs> is there enough nugs in the house for you, Polly? Uh, yes, sir. There's plenty of fly girls here and they're very moist. Yeah. Whoa. Now, did you bring Corky with you? Is Corky here? Yeah, Corky's here, too. From Parker Lou. Hey, there he is. Yeah, Can okay. you step on up here for a minute? Hey, hey. Give him a round of applause. I enjoy the festivities, as you can see, we got girls here, we got guys here, everybody's having a good time, people having beer, people having guacamole and nachos, are you enjoying the festivities so far? Um, I'm having a great time, you? I'm having a very, 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 very good time. <laughs> Hold it just a fire cracking minute. Is that a karaoke machine you got there? Yeah. Well, it's awful close to your big screen TV. <laughs> Let's just say you're singing an inspirational football song. Rock them, suck them, kick them till you lick them. Go. One of your buddies gets football fever and decides to gator at you like so. times as I have. Who needs a zapper? <laughs> Excuse me, fellas. Oh. What the hell's that supposed to teach us? Some things you just have to learn for yourself. Okay, sports fans, one more demonstration and my job here is done. Let's just say you guys decide to have a little Super Bowl of your own. What you don't know is, this place was built on an ancient terrace burial ground. Your quarterback is possessed by the demon spirit of a munitions expert from the Irish Republican Army. Oh, Jenny boy. Coach calls for a long bomb. He takes him literally, throwing this explosive device into the end zone. You scored the TD. You're having an epiphany. You're going to celebrate. Everybody run! <laughs> Sunday. Bloody Sunday.